Okay. Throws and pillows. These are my favorite accessories. Now my kids always joke. They both are teenagers. And I have so many throws and pillows in the house, you know. They're all over the place. They're on the swings. They're on the sofas. They're on the bean bags. They're on the loungers. They're on the bed. They're everywhere. And my children will keep saying, Mom, you know, the use of a sofa, you need space for the people in the house also to sit on it. But let me tell you, throws and pillows are a good investment. You, you can add so much of color and variety and you just change the covers if you are bored, you know. So you don't have to spend a bomb on making those rooms look lively. You can have, uh, for various seasons, you can have uh, throws, you can have theme-wise, if you're having some parties in the house, if you're having festivals. With India, we have so many festivals. So I really love this accessory and um, I think you should know more about it. So let's move on. Welcome to this video. Now, I hope the tips and uh, the do's and don'ts that I've been telling you will guide you and help you in your design process. Here, we are going to talk about another important accessory, which are the throws and the pillows. Now, these are perfect accessories because they can add color, pattern, comfort. And the best part is they're loose, you know, so you can always change them depending on the kind of festive season. If you have a festive season, you can have an entire color decor theme for the festive seasons. For your regular seasons, you can have something else. If you're having a party, maybe it's a 31st party, maybe the theme, you can have something around the theme. So it can be easily changed and switched. So that is why I call this the perfect accessory. There are eight things that you need to keep in mind when you're looking at the perfect way to put in throws. You have to think of the color, the pattern, the shape, the size, the texture, then the trims, the embellishments, the embellishments, the inserts. So these are uh, what is actually going to be uh, the pointers for you when you are making that purchase or when you're deciding to put in or add in that color into your interiors through your throws. Now, the first thing you have to think of is the color. So what is the uh, scheme of the room? What is the color of your sofa? Whether you want your particular accent pillows to complement the sofa or the chair or you want them to in the sense you want them to blend in or you want them to stand out there are two ways of doing this so you can go complete contrast because you want the pillows and throws to stand out from the piece of furniture or you want something subtle that goes along with the language you don't want it to go into the contrast so you can decide so that will decide the colors that you will be adding the next is the patterns so don't be afraid to go in for bold patterns which really are very different from what you're actually doing in the decor. <clears throat> a solid pillow gives a nice tone. It softens it down but the patterns really bring out the interest. Also remember that the patterns also have to go with each other. You know, It should not be so messy and busy that it looks undone. Putting in patterned pillows needs to be a well thought of process. Then the shape. There are lots of shapes available in the market. Some very cute shapes also. You can decide the standard shapes are the squares, the rectangles, when you have the box type, you have the bolsters and you have the round pillows. So depending on the functionality of the space, whether your sofa is for seating, talking or whether it's a more relaxing kind of a environment, or, you know, you lie down and watching TV or something like that. So depending on the function or the various functions that are going to take place, you can also think of the sizes that will be comfortable for the client. So you can mix and match sizes. Not necessary, you have to have standard way of putting in these shapes. The size, the sizes also, there are various sizes available. The only common mistake that you can make maybe is having a very tiny pillow in a very big space or maybe an oversized pillow in a side chair, which can be overwhelming and maybe uncomfortable also. So putting in the pillows should be something that is going to make the seating more comfortable. You have to remember that it is not just to enhance the look of the space. It also has to be comfortable. So whether it's a three-seater sofa or a king-size bed, how the pillow arrangement is going to be, how many pillows and how are they going to be arranged. Usually, usually the back pillows have to be symmetrical or maybe the first last two layers need to be symmetrical. Stuff in the front can be a little more unsymmetrical. The throws also have to uh, go with the entire language of what you're putting in the pillows. So keep this in mind when you're doing your bedrooms. Now, there are something else besides these three, size, shape, color and pattern. Uh, we term them as textures, trims, embellishments and inserts. Now, texture is something that is going to create one, the feel of the pillow. So when you're putting your hand on the pillow or when you are keeping the pillow as a backrest or you're just lying, put your head, putting your head on the pillow, the feel 
and the texture is what is going to make it feel comfortable or warm. Also, the texture is going to add a 3D element, which is going to create more depth for whatever uh, mix and match that you're doing. You need to think of what textures you want to add in. There are loads of textures in the market. Go through that. The trim is a great way to decorate. So if you want to add some, give it a more decorative look, trims are a good way of doing it because you can also change. So most common trims are the piping that you do on the sides. So various designs in that are available, various patterns are available. You can decide then you have the rope trim or you have the traditional trimming line that you have. You can also have these pom-poms. So decide like what kind of a look you want to create. Then embellishments. So embellishments are the ribbons or the brooches or the sequences that you have on pillows. Uh, they also enhance the look of the pillow. Now embellishments can be something that you're also adding in seasonally in the sense fe during festive seasons only. Maybe. So if you have pillows with mirrors and sequences and brooches, they look nice during the festive season, especially Indian festivals are very bright and colorful. So you can put in them that time. In case your entire decor of the room is going to be highlighted, you can have your sequences and embellishment pillows throughout you know, all the year round also. So it also depends on how the client is, the taste of it. And then you have the inserts. Inserts are one is your pillow cover and the second is the actual pillow which we call as the insert to give a more puffy and a full look to the pillow usually the cover size and the insert size there is a difference of one to two inches you know so if you are looking at a finished pillow of 20 size the insert should be 22 a little bigger so that it gives you a very full and puffy because you don't want loose pillows now if you see this pillow it's tight and puffy you know sometimes you feel if the pillow cover is big and the pillow inside is small the insert is small it gives loose ends it does not look puffed and finished so these are some common things. If it's a 20 size cover, buy the insert one or two inches bigger. For the horizontal pieces, you can stick to the same size also for the circular and the horizontal or the rectangle. Now, some patterns or some rules that you can do when you're arranging pillows on a sofa or a bed. You may or may not follow these rules. It's just something so that you can start thinking. You can have one you can mix and match one. You can have one uh, combination where you have a pattern and a print along with a geometrical print and a solid or a textured fabric. So one pillow has a print, one has some geometrical pattern and one could be a combination of solid colors which are complementing the print or the basic shade in the print and the geometry. That could be one way of doing it. The second way could be you have the main color, one accent color that you add in and a neutral. So uh, suppose it's a grey sofa, your neutral would be maybe shades of lighter shades of grey, white. The accent colour could be a darker shade, more darker than the sofa. And uh, the main colour could also be something that you're adding in for the excitement. Something like red, yellow also goes well with greys. So you can think of combinations like this. Now, when you're looking at sofas and beds, basically 20 inches to 24 inches throw pillows, the big size, should come at the ends of the sofas and with smaller 18 or 22 pillows next to it. So that adds more depth when you're looking at the sofa. At the same time, it gives a more comfort level at the corners. For beds, the main euro pillow should be 24 to 26 inches and the accent pillows which are coming on either side or along the entire width of the bed can be 22 or 24 inches. So that kind of an arrangement, these are some basic rooms. Of course, as a designer, you can always experiment. But if you feel that, no, I'm, I don't want to experiment, I want to go with what is conventional, you can follow this. Okay, so I hope you like this video and you're convinced that giving throws and pillows in your interiors can really do some good for those nice um, done up spaces that you want. And uh, they're not very expensive, as I told you. Plus, there are so many online shopping stores which are keeping uh, covers and throws and pillows that uh, it's simple to shop. Uh, you will be adding these things in your mood board also. So there are a lot of uh, you know sites like Amazon, Ikea, Etsy, uh, Pepperfry, Flipkart and many more actually. You might be knowing more than I do. So just choose, you know, just go ahead and choose what you want. So happy designing. <laughs>